Hey, we're heading towards Ecuador. So from the last time we saw you guys, we have driven six hours south. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was pretty good actually. But we're in San Augustine now. I'll show you guys around. So San Augustine is an ancient village that is pre-Columbian, so a lot of indigenous people lived here. And right now we're walking through the forest of statues, really well maintained. One of the best parts of these ruins is that dogs can come. So we have Sombrita with us today. And it's not very hot here, even though it is the jungle. We spent a lot of time up at high elevation mountains. Then we were in a desert and now we're in some ruins in the jungle. So hey, yeah. what more can you ask for than variety, the spice of life? While well, I never learned too much about the people that lived in San Augustine, we were blown away with the beautiful carvings of these ancient people. The site was a burial place, but with high level of grave robberies, it's hard to uncover all of the stories. So nice we could walk to the archaeological site from our campsite. But now we're gonna go into town and check out a Vizu restaurant. You know, we're so lucky to be alive right now because I can use the internet to find skate parks. Super easy. <laughs> you know, I just feel like a better person when I get to ride my bike. So let's check out the local skate park here in Pitalito, just south of San Agustin. Shall we head towards Ecuador? Let's do it. A little change of plans due to COVID. Not that we have any. <laughs> to enter Ecuador in most countries, you need a PCR test, which is kind of hard to find. And we did find one here, but they couldn't give us the results in time. There's basically two ways we can go uh, to get across to the other side of the mountains and then head into Ecuador. There's a road from here near San Agustin, which is terrible. And there's a road farther south, which is even worse. <laughs> so we've decided, well, what the heck? Let's just take this one from here. And then tomorrow we'll have apparently just a 40 kilometer stretch of very terrible road. We have two friends who've gone before and given us the details where you can get the PCR test. Uh, there's actually a really good deal they found out for us. So I think it'll be 80,000 pesos, which is like $20 for a PCR test. Sometimes we paid up to 150. Yeah, it's really nice having those friends up ahead. They were in our videos. Rob with his huge four-wheel drive man rig. Our other friend, Kevin, who was in the Volkswagen orange bus. They're both having a great time in Ecuador, and we will be soon too. So I think we got about two more hours of rough road, and uh, then it should be pretty straight shot down to Ecuador. Woo! <laughs> Our second country wow. in South America. Wow. Neither one of us has been to this country this before. Country. On the road to Ecuador, a little pit stop here, it worked out. <laughs> has been 
been a pretty ridiculous drive. We're just waiting. And we have been waiting. And this is our second time waiting. Oh, this is our second construction zone today then. We might be waiting for an hour. We might be waiting for two hours. Hasn't been my favorite drive today, that's for sure. No, no, this has been honestly pretty terrible. Yeah, getting to Ecuador has been tricky. Uh, yeah, honestly, this might be the hardest border crossing just for reasons that, that guy think he's going? don't have to do with the border yet. Try to get a COVID test so that we could go on the smaller border. Not possible. Had to drive nine hours to the other border to get a COVID test. This stop has added two hours. So now that's gonna be 11 hours. I don't know, it's just so long. We've been waiting. Just the worst drive ever. We just showered. <laughs> it was a nice cold shower at a gas station where we slept last night after driving forever. Not only driving forever, but we were stuck in two traffic jams. It wasn't like a slow creep or anything. It was, we could have taken a nap. Like, <laughs> like neither one of us needed to be in the driver's seat for these traffic jams. But we're starting day three of driving to the Ecuador border. Please go well. I Please know. go better than yesterday. Yesterday was really, <laughs> really hard. How much longer? Two and a half hours? Uh, supposedly two and a half hours to the PCR test with a nice nose swab. Oh, our crazy driving is finally done. We made it to the campsite right next to the border. Unfortunately, we made it here on a Sunday, <laughs> so we have to wait another day to get our COVID tests, but no big deal. We'll be able to do that tomorrow and then cross Tuesday. So this campsite is actually at a sweet del Perico that goes to a church. Del Perico! Yeah, and this is actually a really famous church. It's just crazily convenient because the board is right here. Yeah, <laughs> there are other overlanders at this spot. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. Uh, a couple with three dogs. <laughs> they got a, uh, like one of those truck campers with the shell on the back. Mm -hmm. And apparently they got to Columbia before the pandemic struck and they've been here for over two, two years. Yeah. Oh, there it is! Dang! So beautiful! Yeah! They told us that Tele Ferico was gonna close at six and we would have to make our own way up, but we made it on the Tele Ferico, seven o'clock. <laughs> Good 
morning. We have woken up at the Teleferico free camping spot, which is great. And we're going to head over to get our COVID test. But this will be the last step that we need before heading to the border. So that's really good news. Wow, you guys, we are just a stone's throw from the border. So just waiting for those COVID test results to come through. We're gonna try and take the animals for a little walk here down to the river. You see Grammy back there. Good boy, Grammy. <laughs> I love this cat. Yeah, it's a bit crazy because we're going to Ecuador now and the next border is still closed. That's with Peru. Are you sitting there first? Come on. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. Ah, oh, Graham looks like me struggling through that jungle. Well, I just put Graham in the backpack for the final stretch here since there's so many dogs. But let's go in the van and see if we got these COVID test results. Fingers crossed, good news. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, babe, how was your walk? Oh, great, Graham, loved it. Any, uh... <gasps> so any news on the COVID test results? No. Nothing? And what's crazy is how they said if you're positive, it takes an extra day. So now we're like so worried that we haven't got it yet. <laughs> but it's only been like five hours, so. Whoa, got the results. What is it, what is it, what is it? Daniel, me, negative. negative. Okay, now for Okay, you. okay, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Negative! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Ecuador tomorrow, here we Ecuador! come. Ecuador! <laughs> Are you excited for Ecuador, Sombrita? She's got the hiccups. <laughs> Whenever she first got them, I was like, this dog's gonna die! And then I looked it up and hiccups are normal, huh? Alright, so now that we got those PCR results, I have to do the migration form for Colombia. When you come into Colombia and leave, it has to be done within 24 hours. So, just a quick little form I'll fill out here. Sombrita and Grandma are taking up the whole bench seat, so I guess I'll just work over here on a, the passenger seat. <laughs> so to stay organized in every border crossing, we have a couple different folders. We have a whole binder full of copies, and then we have our originals bag that's in a fireproof bag. And then I also have a whole file, which is just expired paperwork. Oh, and then I also have all of the pet paperwork sorted out. So what I'm first going to do is make sure I have everything separated correctly, like the title, registration, our current TIP, and our passports, and our vaccine cards. And then I'm gonna put it all into our backpack that we will just be carrying around the whole time. So we're super excited about Ecuador, but we just had to remember to get calm and stay calm because it is so hard to sleep on the nights before a border crossing. So I've made us some chamomile tea and we're gonna go snuggle up together and watch a very soothing TV show that'll put us to sleep very fast. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for this border crossing. So excited. Bye. It's time. We are heading out of Ecuador. Oh my gosh, I said we're heading out of Ecuador. We're heading out of Colombia. <laughs> I'm so excited to get this border crossing over with. They're honestly one of the hardest things about traveling by van. So we got the directions laid in to where we're gonna go park the first spot. That's always step one. And the time is 8.40. So let's see how long this takes. We're about to pass a whole bunch of trucks. Here we go. Wow, talk about easy. We just went to migration 
got stamped real fast. Handed in our TIP, they didn't even ask any questions, nothing. For all my friends that are getting stuck in Nicaragua border crossing and are scared right now, this is the easiest. <laughs> so there's good times ahead, for sure. We're heading into Ecuador now. We're gonna park right after the border and then we're gonna get stamped in, get our new TIP, and be on our way. It's 9.09 and we started at 8.40. It's only 30 minutes in. And honestly, the thing that took the longest was printing out our COVID results. All right, now we're in Ecuador. Time to go do our paperwork, so we will be official. Two people that have all of their paperwork sorted. Now we just have to go through the checkpoint into Ecuador. Please don't stop us. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's 10 o'clock. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was stressful. He said, could you open the back for me? And I said, yeah, sure. And uh, he was looking at our paperwork and, and he looks at the license plate and then he just says, okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I heard his associate say, just check the plate number, check the VIN, and let him go. In Ecuador! Gotta put some directions in our first spot in Ecuador. So the total process was an hour and 20 minutes, start to finish. Not a bad border crossing at all, and it wasn't hot, and whenever somebody tried to cut, the official would say, no, no, no. <laughs> so I'm loving Ecuador. Sombrita's first sniff at Ecuador. One stop and we got a new phone plan. We got some snacks. We got some water. So while we were in there grabbing our phone plan, we got some bread from the lady. Bread of corn. On the oh, mice. yay! Cornbread. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, cornbread. Mmm! It's not like southern cornbread, but it's pretty close. We should have gotten more. They're only 15 cents. So we were able to get one get a phone at the lady who recharged my phone, but uh, we kind of needed another one. So we went over to a Perificadora. We filled up the tank and our extra tank, and Danny gave him five bucks to pay. It was going to be 2.30. And the guy, we told him how, oh, we just got into Ecuador. We asked him if the road we were going to go on was nice. And he said, yeah, yeah, you should be good. And then he came back. And he gave us the five dollars back. He didn't want us to pay for the getter phone. Yeah, very nice, very nice. He said, "Enjoy Ecuador." Yeah, so nice. And it looks like it's just an hour drive, but it might be kind of a crazy road. So you know how that could turn into two hours. Yeah. And then we'll be up at twelve thousand feet. Where the hell is? So this drive has been beautiful over to the National Park, Cal Angel, but uh, the only problem is the road is a little sketchy and we're both so tired from the border crossing. I think it's just hard for us to sleep. It's a lot of stress whether or not we're gonna make it, especially because like COVID tests only last a certain amount of time, usually three days. So you have to do it within three days or you have to pay for another test. Driving on a road like this is a really good welcome to the country to see it's such a beautiful place. But um, we're both excited to get to our spot and drink some tea or coffee and take a nap maybe. You definitely want to stay left. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'll have to clean off the engine fan after this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good job, Danny. It is a bit of a 
spicy drive for the first day at Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I really, really think we thought we were gonna tip. Oh my god! Yeah, we bought them down somewhere. <sighs> oh, wait, this is oil. Are you worried about the van? Yes. What? I'm losing oil. No! No! Thanks so much for joining us all the way down here to Ecuador. To find out what happens next, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We'll see you then.